Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I want to do a video today uh, just taking a look at the um, online shoe for sale website and how you can search for uh, foods that are specifically low in fat. So I did a video uh, last week um, talking about how basically since I had my gallbladder removed two years ago, um, I've been really struggling with a lot of digestive problems. Some people who have the operation are, others seem to just get on with uh, eating normally. Uh, but I've had a lot of issues with that. And I saw a dietitian last week who recommended that I start following or that I adopt a low fat diet. Now this is all very, very new uh, territory for me. I've never followed uh, not only a specific nutrient diet i've never followed any kind of a diet really before um so i've been learning over the course of the last week what is low fat um as far as i can tell the answer is three grams per 100 so three percent is the cutoff uh, below that it's considered to be a low fat food above that it's considered not low fat don't quote me on that i'm not a nutritionist but that's a pretty good start for me to just begin buying things at the grocery store that's what i'm looking for is three percent uh, or less. Now, what I discovered, so I just did actually my weekly shopping in Shoe for Sale, which is a big uh, grocery chain in Israel. And something I noticed is I think you really want to do this, do your homework before, ideally, either do your shopping online or uh, sort of know what products you're looking for. And I do like you do my supermarketing in a store, uh, particularly now because I'm trying to uh, learn how to recognize what are the low fat products. Um, because you get to the dairy counter and there's just like hundreds of yogurts and cheeses and whatnot and it's really helpful if you know uh, what you're looking for so here's what I'm doing uh, might strike some as a bit OTT uh, but this is what I'm doing anyway I've created this like you know folder in my Google Drive uh, shopping list uh, by supermarket and what I'm doing is just taking a few screenshots of uh, products I found on their website shoe for sales website that I know to be low fat and I'm going to show you how to uh, search for those um, and that's really basically my system I'm just eyeballing these uh, I'm not sure I'll print it out I might just have this to go um, when I'm browsing the aisles so instead of having to pick up a nutritional label every couple of minutes I'll just uh, surgically move in on these uh, on these different products um, but what I wanted to show is how you can actually look this up on the shoe for sale website it's really really good and two things I think I always uh, try to praise Israel for, there are things I criticize Israel for all the time, the cost of living being kind of absurd, uh, and actually you see that reflected in the prices here. But one thing, one or two things I think Israel does really well is that the quality of healthcare is consistently excellent. Uh, for instance, being able to see a dietitian for free is awesome. Um, also, they do digitization really, really well, in my opinion. And I think that the shoe for sale website is just a reflection of that they've really done a great job in my opinion um at putting information up there on the internet for instance if i search for dal shuman which means low fat uh, and i want to call up one of these results let's go for this one this is the pastrami barbecue dal shuman the barbecue pastrami so i can do a 360 tour whoa there's my pastrami uh i can look at the product labeling and more importantly from a nutritional perspective um, these are the government mandated labels. So this is actually a high sodium label. Um, the Misrada Buyut, the Israeli Ministry of Health has the uh, interesting online information for anybody interested in knowing what the actual levels are. So as you'd expect from deli meat, it's like not super healthy. It's quite high in sodium. Uh, but in any event, you can look up for Shumanim. Shumanim is fat in Hebrew. So this is one gram of fat. And as I mentioned, the cutoff for low fat is three uh, 3% as far as I'm aware. So that would be three grams. So one gram in a hundred grams is really, really low fat, very, very lean. Uh, so that's why it matched for that. So I know this is a low fat product uh, by this company, uh, Of Tov, uh, that I can be on the lookout for. And I'm gonna actually pick up some more products tomorrow. Um, so that's one way to do it. But another way to do it is to just search for food you want. So let's say I wanna go for into uh, Motrei Halav which means uh, uh, milk products. And now we're getting a bunch of uh, eggs, as you can see. And just to the right of the screen here, I have all my filters. So I can search by category, by brand. I can search by uh, allergens here, Lelo uh, Allerganim. 
soya, shkadim, betzim, chalav, different allergies uh, that you can add. Uh, kashrut Pesach, uh, the kosher status is here as well. Kashrut, the different uh, kosher certifications are here as well. But the uh, area I want to draw people's attention to is Achuzei Shuman. So this is the fat percentage. And you can see here we have 0, 0 to 9, 0 to 1, 1 to 3, 3 to 5. 5 to 9, 9 to 15, 15 to 22, etc, etc, etc. So what I can do is, if I want to click on 0, let's say. So now I've filtered on 0% fat within the dairy category and it's returned for me 45 different products. So for instance, if I want to put in, go into this uh, Yaple yogurt, so I can see, okay, Yaple have a range of these uh, yogurts, they're 150 grams, they're five shackles each in Shufrasal. And uh, these are basically fat-free, shumanim, zero grams. As well as the total fat content, and this is a whole nother, Nefesh Benefesh have a good video about how to read nutritional labels in Hebrew. Uh, they also tend to report the saturated fat content and the trans fat content. I guess they don't if it's uh, something, like, uh, something like yogurt and if it's already zero. Uh, but if you go into the meat category, you'll see uh, shuman. And I just looked up the vowelization to make sure I have it correct, reva'i. Uh, that is saturated fat and uh, shuman trans is trans fat it's just trans in in hebrew and uh, shumanim generally is fat so for instance so i can look through there's actually quite a lot of these uh quite a lot of options i've got myself a few yogurts if i want to have a greek yogurt uh yogurt bataam tevai this product is also zero percent so what i'm doing right now is just kind of a hacky system i'm just uh you know grabbing the product photo and just putting this into my uh, Google document. No, uh, no particularly sophisticated method, but this to me is a lot better than showing up at the store and reading a bunch of nutritional labels. I know uh, what, I, what I can get. So that's, I can also look for, let's say one to 3%. Um, and now I'm actually, see, I, I have these two filters applied. It's a really great system. So I can even click on, let's do three filters and I'm getting everything up to and including 3% fat. And I've actually got myself 300 products, including Shufrasal own brand Greek yogurt, which is a 0.9% fat with apricot. So you can see if you're also trying to follow a low fat diet in, uh, in Israel um, and you're comfortable shopping at Shufrasal, you have an online account, uh, they've really done, I think, again, a terrific job at making it easy. Let's just go to one more category before I call it a wrap here. If I want to go into so something I, I'm trying to figure out at the moment is what canned fish um, I can have. But let's say I wanted to go for um, just regular fish, right? So dagim, I have 110 options at the fish counter, but I also have my trusty fat content selector, Jose Schumann. And uh, let me just turn on again, I'm gonna do up to and including 3% fat. And now I've whittled that down to only four options. I don't know all the fish names in Hebrew. So this is a filet of bakala. So um, I haven't, the truth is, I haven't really bought much fish here. And uh, there are glaring gaps in my Hebrew, as you can tell. Ah, so this is cod, that makes sense. In, in Portuguese, uh, cod is bacalao. Um, random, I think in Spanish as well, it's bacalao. So bacala is, uh, maybe that's frozen. Yeah, kafua. So that's, that's frozen, that's why I haven't really seen it that much. Um, I think this is tapi, yeah, I'm known. What is I'm known in English? Uh, tilapia. So uh, tilapia is an option, uh, that's an option, and so on and so forth. I can go through the whole supermarket virtually without leaving my house, uh, search through all the different product categories and become acquainted with uh, what is available if I'm following a fat restricted diet. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show. I think, as I said, that uh, Shufrasal has done a excellent job here and um, I am going to be doing videos soon, uh, testing out all these different foods. So far, I've tested out a bunch of low fat dairy. I found it all to be pretty good actually. Uh, and I'm really, really enjoying being on this new diet. So I hope that video was useful to somebody uh, out there looking to go low fat and you don't know uh, what to, what you can buy in the supermarket. I hope this video uh, was helpful just to show you, at least at the time of recording, uh, some of the options that are out there to help you make the, uh, make the right selection and pick up the right foodstuffs.